Hi guys, I have one more tutorial for today. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to make the simplest, most easiest bracelet on the rain balloon. It is called the single chain one. You get instructions with it. And with this video, I'm also going to show you where you can get rain balloons. And how much you can get it for and where you can get your refills. So stay tuned for that. So first, I'm going to... Uh, talk about where you can get them and how much the refills cost then we'll move on to the bracelet okay so i got mine since they're really expensive i got mine from dollarana not a really good kind you'll see two packages one with only glittery rubber bands a long loom and a yellow hook the other one you'll see a shorter loom probably like about half the size of this it's blue, a green hook, and regular assorted bands. Let me tell you, get this one. Or if you can't, get both. Because the other one with the assorted ones are, are like the looms are made for like rings and earrings and stuff. And this one's made for bracelets and stuff. So um, if you're like a first time loomer, this one. If you already have a loom and you just need smaller one then go for the other one so they're three dollars um, three dollars from dollarama um what you get in that this is if you buy the one that i have you get this loom get a yellow hook and you get four different colors of glittery bands so you get a purple a blue an orange and this is either a yellow or a green. Um, so you can still make really good bands and stuff. For refills, um, if you really just want to save money, I suggest get the cheaper loom and get the good quality rubber bands. So you can get good quality rubber bands from Michael's, the craft store. And you can get them for like $3. You get like 600 either like assorted or just pink or just red or orange or like just glittery bands so or just like neon or just like i think it's yellow type glow in the dark like that and then just like neon just assorted oh well just glittery actually and that's assorted so you know you can just get that like and they're only three dollars they're really cheap and i think that's the best thing to do um then again you know people are different so uh, now that you know and one more place for the refills is toys r us in toys r us when you just enter there should be a a huge section of just like rain balloon and their refills are two dollars i don't know how many you get because I've never gotten my refills from uh, Toys R Us. I've gotten mine from Michaels. Um, I just know that they're two dollars. They're cheaper. I think you get only five hundred. Again, I'm not sure. But yeah. <sighs> okay. Um. So on the basic tutorial for this single chain loom, check. So what you're gonna do? is you're actually going to make a zigzag design throughout the loom like like this oops and then like that like a mountain design can you guys see like that like basically you're going to start there that there that oh wait no hang on hang on like this throughout the loom to the last one okay so i'm gonna be using purple yay okay so you're just gonna start off like there would be an arrow over here but you know you're just gonna go and start looming you're just gonna start with that if you have seen my single chain ring 
video. Um, then you just do the same thing, but instead of just making in a shape of an M, you just go throughout the loom. Okay, so if you haven't, then I suggest go see that video. And I am explaining exactly what to do because I'm doing exactly this. So, you know, you just hook it. Make sure you don't do this. This is something a no-no. When you just, like, don't want to do that, don't do this. Like, this, and, like, and then you just take this one and, like, put it over there. No, because then when you hook it and you just do this and then, like, that, it the hooking part's not going to come nicely. It's, it's not going to be good then you're gonna have to go and switch everything around trust me that happened once so just make sure that you're always doing it one way never ever go two ways yeah i think i was doing it this way yeah, it was okay so i'm just gonna be continuing that so you're basically making mountain designs like Um, if you haven't seen my single chain video again, uh, you should see that, then you'll know exactly if you don't understand by this video of how to do it. Now you just go throughout the loom. This is probably one of the easiest ones. Just putting on the pants. Stretching and washing up. And this is how it should look like. A zigzag design throughout the loom. Okay, then you're gonna take your hook and you're just gonna hook it. So I'm gonna try to show you how to hook it like this. You guys can see that, right? Okay, good. So you're gonna start from I'm gonna start from this side. So from this side. So what you wanna do is just Wait, what? Oh, no, I, I zoomed from this side. Okay, never mind. You're going to start from this side. I'm going to start from this side, okay? So, you're just going to look for the bottom one. Like that. Unhook it. And then hook it from the one that it came from. Like that. No. It's, if you haven't seen it. So, you just take the bottom one. Like, push push the other two back and take the bottom one unhook the bottom one and hook it from the one that it came from so basically the next one like that and if it's two up you can obviously push it down again go in the bottom one unhook it hook it to the next one simple Go to the bottom one, unhook it, to the next one, bottom one, unhook it, and hook it to the next one. Well, super simple. Um, yeah, just like, push it down if it's too up. You're just doing that across the loom. So you're basically, I'm going to try to do this one. Can you even see the loom anymore? Okay, hopefully you can. Okay, I'll get that there, there, there we go. There we go. Okay, so can you, can you, can you, uh, oops. So can you see that? You know how I did that? It's, um. 
So you okay, so you just go for the bottom one, unhook it from the peg that you got it from. Like okay, so let's say we're working with this peg. This is your first time. So unhook it, like take your loom, go like take your hook, um push back the other two and go for the bottom one. And then you take the bottom one and you hook, unhook it, and then hook it to the one that comes in next. Not like this, like this. It goes diagonally. Okay? So that's what you're doing. You're just reaching in. Just make sure. And then you'll see the one that it comes from, and just hook it to the one that it came from. If your other thing gets out like that, you can just hook it back by by your hands, I guess. Yeah, because like two goes on this side, two goes on that side. And then anything else up, you can just you know take the hook and do it. Again, take the bottom one, unhook it, and hook it to the next one. Take the bottom one the next one take the bottom one and then hook it to the next one you don't want to let it go because if when you let it go um it's just that so then you just keep on doing that and once you're done you just put your clip on this side like on this side um, so somebody's calling me. So on this side, and then you just pull up, and you just pull it out. That's it. Thank you. Bye.